All right, turning now to the battle for control over the final frontier, Vice President Pence today announcing the creation of a multi-dimensional space force. Because of the way this proposal has been presented and scoffed at, there's been a lack of serious discussion in the public sphere of what many experts consider to be a legitimate need for the U.S. to fend off imminent threats from adversaries such as China or Russia who have, quote, brought new weapons of war into space itself, as Pence reiterated today. CNN's Barbara Starr now at the Pentagon picks up the story. President Trump calling for a radical change in U.S. warfighting. So we have the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, the Coast Guard. But we have the Air Force. Now we're going to have the Space Force because it's a whole... We need it. Today at the Pentagon, Vice President Mike Pence unveiling details of the White House plan. The time has come to establish the United States Space Force. Pence making the case the U.S. is under threat. Russia and China to North Korea and Iran have pursued weapons to jam, blind, and disable our navigation and communication satellites. In 2007, China used a missile to destroy one of its own out-of-date satellites. What if it had been targeting U.S. satellites? What that means is that it put every single thing that we have in space at risk. That includes GPS communications. It includes uh, all of the communication satellites that we have, all of the things that we depend on nowadays for our daily life was all of a sudden put at risk by that one action by the Chinese in 2007. The Kremlin working on a similar threat. Russia has been designing an airborne laser to disrupt our space-based system, and it claims to be developing missiles that can be launched from an aircraft mid-flight to destroy American satellites. Defense Secretary James Mattis was initially unenthusiastic about adding more bureaucracy to the Pentagon, telling Congress in 2017, I do not wish to add a separate service that would likely present a narrower and even parochial approach to space operations. Mattis now says he's on board with the plan. Congress would have to approve a new branch of the military, and there are questions if more military offices are the right solution for a 21st century threat. I think this is maybe the wrong bureaucracy for the problem. And if there was an attack against a U.S. satellite, well, one analyst says it could push American life back into the 1940s and 50s. No Internet, no weather forecasting, no online activity. Jake? All right, Barbara Starr at the Pentagon for us. Thanks so much. Was it really amazing?